Welcome back, everybody. My first guest tonight is a great big movie star who has now written and stars in the new film, Greyhound. Please welcome to A Late Show, Tom Hanks. Hello, Tom. You know, one thing I have to say, your, 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 um, your, your joke bit rate is sky high when I watch your monologues now because there's absolutely no gap for anything. You don't have anybody, you know, John isn't over there. You can't nope. go. <laughs> well, you do, but there's no laughter. Um, There's no, but here's the nice thing, Tom, and let's just assume we've already started our interview, shall we? We can have fun by me. Okay. Here, the nice thing is, is that the, 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 we always talk about the national conversation, and the national conversation has gotten so dark that normally as a performer, you have to worry about, well, what order do I want to tell the stories? I don't want to no. bum out the audience. I want to kill the laughter for the rest of the monologue. Doesn't matter, man. Talk about anything you want. It does. It's just silent, just crickets the entire time. It's, it's, uh, nice it's like you, it's like you had a dinner party and nobody showed up except uh, you and the wife. That's true. That's true. Chatting about your company. day. <laughs> Chatting about your day. Speaking of uh, speaking of uh, you and the lovely wife, uh, I know that the two of you just celebrated your birthday. Happy birthday, first of all. Thank you. I'm six. I'm sixty-four years old, and there you, you go. can. You know how when you turn 64, you just get 900 emails and every single one of them references that Beatles song. Every single one of them. Um, it's, did you do anything special for your birthday? Uh, no. Oh, that's too bad. Nothing. That's too bad, but I suppose everything seems a little special right now because the two of you were the first sort of famous people that any of us knew to go through the, the famous people. <laughs> I love you. you. Not only did you do that, but you threw in sort of as well. Sort well, of. I don't want sort you to be defined. I know you don't define yourself as being famous. You're just Thomas Jeffrey Hanks. You're not That's like just, you're the same guy. No, no. Right? You know, when that came up, um, we decided because we were down in Australia, and I was about to start working on a movie. And the movie, we, the movie got shut down almost in tandem with us getting our, our positive results. So we didn't we didn't want there to be like a brand of uh, information out there that we were the cause of the movie being shut down. So we say, hey, positive. And then they put us in the hospital so we would not give it to anybody else, you see. Were you surprised that you uh, got the coronavirus? Because a lot of us were surprised when we found out that Tom Hanks and Rita Wilson had it. We're like, well, then we're all screwed. Because if, if they, if they're, I mean, they're famous. If they, yeah. if they got it, you, you travel in the hermetic bubble, right? At all times, you're the boy in the, oh, uh, in the bubble it, at all. Yes, I do. I actually have a staff of six that keep a, an orb of plexiglass around me at all times. No, but were I, you? I breathe, so, I breathe the real fine air inside. Uh, yes, we were. We, we had no idea um, how it could have happened, or where it would have happened. We, we, you know, then we went back. Um, and they actually asked us, where have you been? What have you done? And we had been down in, uh, in Sydney. My, my wife had actually uh, performed. Uh, she sang uh, at one of the theaters inside the Sydney Opera House, which was a fabulous thing. There were, right, we, our son was down Amazing. there. It was, it, was, it was fabulous, great. And we took a fabulous tour of uh, Sydney Haba uh, on a boat, um, went back to our, our location where we were shooting the movie. Went, I actually had a day of rehearsal um, and then uh, on the on the ride home, I was saying uh, I, I announced grandly, and when I speak, honestly, people drop everything they're doing. Of course. And I said, you know, I'm feeling a little punky. I feel punky. I don't punky. Okay. And uh, they said we're we're gonna get a test. My uh, Rita actually had she had a headache. She was feeling bad. I felt punky. And uh, we were tested. Uh, 
in the afternoon at 10 o'clock that came back positive and by the next morning we were surrounded by people in PPE and we were oh. isolated in a hospital. Now, everybody says, you know, how did it feel? What was it like? Uh, we had very different uh, symptoms. You and Rita uh, different. Very different. Actually, I don't, other than a, a headache, uh, she had a higher fever than I did. She said she had horrible nausea, horrible nausea. Did you lose the taste um, and the smell? She did. I did not. And that was before that was known to be a thing. We were, we were, <laughs> we were eating takeout food that I, I would thought was delicious. It was savory goodness. It had butter sauces. It had come from a, mm. a thing, highly recommended sure. uh, joint. And she was saying, this tastes like oatmeal to me. I, I, I thought she was insane. But she had lost the thing. I had uh, I had bones that felt like they were made out of soda crackers. I, every oh. time I moved around, I felt like something was cracking inside me. And you know when you have, um, you, you, have, you ever had a really sore butt, Steve? Steve yes, I have, there? Tom. A yes, I have. Very, just like it felt like it felt like your older brother had held you down and just kept fisting you in the buttocks, you know, until mm -hmm. you until you'd said something like, "I love flipper, say it, say it. I love flipper, say it." Say it. I love Flipper. Mm -hmm. Well, I finally said I love Flipper, but it felt like he had. I had my butt. It was just so sore. I and will never. On, I will never watch the television show Flipper in the same way now. <laughs> <laughs> this tells you something about the relationship of me and my older brother, in which sure. the uh, in which I was forced to admit that I loved Flipper. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> but that's how I Dude. felt. That's how I felt. And we got now, over it over time, and we didn't How long, though? Else how long did it take to recover? Um, with the fatigue, I mean, bone-crushing fatigue as well. It, it was about 10, it was about eight days, eight, nine days. And the Australians couldn't have been nicer about it? They, they, were, very, they were very open about, uh, well, they had it down, contract tracing and all that kind of stuff. I even said, look, if I wasn't, if I wasn't the big uh, sort of celebrity that I am, uh, what would I have done if I started feeling punky? And, uh, and they say, well, if you had had, you would have gone to one of our fever clinics and they had these fever clinics. And if you would, if you had, if you had had a fever, they would have said, where have you been? What have you been doing? Who have you talked to now go to the hospital and, uh, and we'll lock you up. So they were doing that already. There was one moment where we were, we were, uh, in the hospital and just just to move, just to bend a little bit, I did some kind of like stretches on the floor, and uh, I I almost I almost passed out down on on the floor. I pulled myself up into bed. I felt really horrible, and when they came in for one of the 19 times a day, they checked my fever, checked my uh, oxygen, checked my uh, lungs. Um, I said, you know, the weirdest thing just happened. I I just tried to do some some stretches on the floor and I, I, I didn't last more than seven minutes. I almost passed out down there. I had to pull myself in the bed. What's that about, doctor? <laughs> and the doctor said, you had COVID-19. And I said, that's why you're a doctor. And I'm yes. sort of, <laughs> sort of famous. <laughs> Tom, we have to take a break. Uh, everybody stick around. We'll be right back with more. Mr. Tom Hanks.